one and all, I do hope you well this, well, reasonably fine Saturday. I was feeling great, I was just having a drink. I've got something to celebrate, more about that in a minute. And all of a sudden I've come over all queasy. A horse there called Happy had just got up on the line and won, and I felt sick when it went, it won. I did, honestly, I felt sick. Happier, that was its name. Anyway, no more about that. You'll hear about that horse tomorrow at Defty, there's no doubt about that. Right, got two for one for you now. So, well, why am I celebrating, you might say? Well, the wife, she's she's left me to go to sunnier climbs. Not left me for good, she's coming back. But I've got a few days on my own, and I'm just, I thought I'd celebrate. Never wrong with that, is there? Hey, oh, some people don't like their own company. I love it! Anyway, two stories for one. I'll give you, I've got a boxing story and an horse racing. We'll go with the horse racing first. ITV racing again today. Absolute joke. Royal Scotsman wins. Chapman's doing his best to get Paul Cole to cry. Oh, it's a very emotional win for this, Paul. A very emotional win. Oh, and as the camera pans away, goes to Ed Chamberlain. Oh, it was a very emotional win, that one. And I'm thinking, what's this emotional like that they do every time they have a programme on? Every weekend, emotional this. Emo There's an emotion. They're happy. They're happy they've won. That's all they have to be happy. There's an emotion for you. But you want tears. You want tears all the time. Half an hour later, there was an emotion there. Half an hour, or no, an hour or two later. Ryan Moore smiling. You don't often see him smile. He had a smile as wide as anything else. Unbelievable. Not so much because City of Troy just won the derby. And fantastic it was too. No, 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 not because of that. We're going to pan over now to City of Troy. Our man Rishi's going to get a word with him. He looks up old Ryan, sees Rishi coming and thinks, thank God I've got Rishi doing the old uh, after race uh, talk and not old Chapman. He was over the moon. Over the moon, he was pretty happy when City of Troy won. He was much happier to see he wasn't going to be confronted by Chapman. It made his day, it really did. And he opened up, he actually talked. He doesn't like talking with Chapman because Chapman's a fool. He doesn't mind Rishi. Anyway, got to say about that horse today in that derby, I think that is probably going to be looked at in years to come as one of the worst derbies we've ever seen. But on the back of it, I think we might put that down as one of the best horses we've ever seen in the derby. I think that's going to go on. And conquer. I think that is a beast like I always thought it was. God only knows how old Brian's got it back after the Guineas, but he has. That was a monster today. For all he's won an awful derby, it had to do so much to get there and to win. Such a bad passage, and it made it look easy. And the old not pulling it up again. I mean, considering it's the first time it's gone a mile and a half, if it had have won the Guineas, they would have definitely gone for the ledger for the Triple Crown, and it would have won the ledger. The way that took time to pull up, it had got, it had got the uh, ledger trip. Absolutely no problem. Don't think we'll see at Doncaster now, but we would have done. I'm pretty sure of that. I did have won the Guineas. But no, I thought it was uh, grand that today. Really good to see that uh, that one win. Great to see it come back. Great for O'Brien Stable. I think he's done a sterling job. Right, your boxing story. What was his name? I should know it because I remember seeing the fight when I was a kid. Chuck Wepner. Read about him today. Do you remember Chuck Wepner? He was the 40 to 1 outsider that. Um, took on Muhammad Ali many, many, many years ago. Everyone gave him no chance. And he lasted the full 15 rounds. It was a journeyman fighter, if you like. They do say that since, since that, they're saying that the Rocky character that Sylvester Stallone created is based on Chuck Wepner. I never knew that, but I've read that since. Reading something today, anyway, and he's saying, he said, oh, he said, I've got a story for you. He said, the day I was having the fight with Ali, I really thought I could win it. He said, so... The day before the fight, he said, I bought something sexy for the wife. I bought her a sexy blue negligee. And I said, when this fight is finished, meet me in the bedroom, put that on. He said, because tonight you're going to be sleeping with the heavyweight champion of the world. He said, that's how confident I was. Anyway, after the fight, all the com press conferences and all that, goes back to my room, opens the door. There she is, sat on the edge of the bed with the sexy blue negligee on. And she said, what's happening now? Am I going to Ali's room or is he coming here? I thought it was funny, and because it was a true story, it was funnier. That is a true story. I liked it. The fellow's obviously got a sense of humour, as has his wife, by the sound of things. Anyway, I, th I don't think Ali turned up. I don't think that anything happened, but I thought it was a funny story. I'll leave you with that one anyway.